Hi there, my name is Jesse Sandifer. Um, if you don't know me, uh, I've got a lot of my uh, current uh, work here up on the screen for you, just so you get the nice warm fuzzy feeling that I might know a thing or two about uh, what we're getting ready to create together. Have a, a perusal through here if you'd like to get more, um, you know, zoomed in looks at stuff. So. A lot of the stuff I do now, I mean, I, as you can see up here in the upper left, I am a lead character artist over at Respawn. Uh, we just wrapped up on the Medal of Honor Above and Beyond VR game. And we're getting ready to start something new. And so, um, you know, in between these two games, I thought I'd make a little quick tutorial. It's been a long time since I've done my last one. I think it's been a um, couple years. I think I started with the, um, let's see here, this one right here, Sculpting characters from concepts that was started in January of 2018 wrapped up in the summer of 2018 well first we started off with like a battle beast this is way back I can't even remember what ZBrush this was but it was a while back uh, it was more of a full tutorial on how to paint the thing and everything but it's it's all Photoshop and things are different now people do work in substance painter and Mari and things like that this one's a little bit old. This one, I just did a uh, sculpting tutorial, but it was a long series, 32 hours of stuff. Uh, real time, just like this one. And this one is uh, the the latest one, where it was more kind of geared towards like, hey, you get, you've been given a concept, let's make it and then pose it out and make it, it's not really like a statue. I mean, I think it's got a little quick base in there that we made, but um, I guess it's similar to the statue work I, that I do with the style. Uh, was kind of more just fun um, kind of thing. So that led me to, as I was you know trying to figure out what I should make next, I just realized something that I don't I don't have anything like human on here or clothing really. I mean I had a little bit here on the pants of this guy, but it was just kind of uh, make believe stuff. So so with all that being said, I'd like to introduce the workshop that we'll be doing. You've probably already seen the cover art for it, but it is from the folks over at Monsters Pet Studio, which is a small studio on the other side of the world, and for, well, from where I am in the US. And I ran across this when I was doing an elf search on ArtStation. I was trying to find somebody who might give me permission to use their concept for this tutorial series. And this one really stuck out to me right here in the middle. Uh, these other guys are really cool too. Um, maybe we'll do those later I don't know but uh, I, I like this one because it's uh, sort of similar to what I get asked to do for uh, statue companies he had a lot of layers of stuff on him and uh, armor and clothing and belts and straps so if we go down to the guy what I like is that we can work on a, the, uh, the head with something that's kind of stylized and fun you know it's not just a boring you know head and we have the hair that will sculpt out uh, looks like he's got some sort of ponytail which is gonna be cool uh, he's got uh, the only really other skin you see is his hands uh, so we won't really dive into a whole lot of like muscular anatomy but we'll definitely talk about form proportion things like that to get him to look like this so you got to understand what's going on underneath there and then we'll talk about things like this cloth wrap, his his main uh, kind of outfit here, and how to sculpt these things out. Maybe we'll add a little bit more detail than they did on their quick concept. And they got the armor, so you got some hard surface, we got some soft organic stuff, we got some ornate things here, we got a couple weapons, you know, cool boots and pants. So that'd be a perfect tutorial subject. So hopefully you're in for the ride here and looking forward to it as much as I am creating it and um, we'll try to go about this in a way that I approach it for uh, a statue company let's just say this is the pose and everything right and how I get to this point do I sculpt and pose do I sculpt and T pose first or a pose whatever you want to call it do I uh, start from scratch from a sphere or do I start with a, like a base mesh to get me off the ground there's many different approaches, but it'll all be ZBrush. Uh, there'll probably be a little bit of 3ds Max. I um, every now and then, just to keep things clean and efficient and frustration-free, 
I kick it over to Max to build a couple things or to fix a mesh. Um, things that you can do in Maya, things you can do in Blender, things you can do in whatever else still exists out there. Um, and honestly, if you want to, you can do the do the whole thing in ZBrush. And um, I, I'll give you tips on how to work clean, uh, what these statue companies prefer for um, how the meshes are created. They really don't like you know, messy Dynamesh stuff that doesn't have any subdivisions. They don't really like things that are um, potentially corrupt, like um, broken meshes, uh, things that have a weird issue. So we, we try to keep things nice and clean, uh, separated, organized, named, uh, things like that. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, Monsters Pit Studio. So check them out, go to their uh, profile over on ArchStation. Looks like they have a website here. Um, this is how I found them. And they got some really cool stuff. Some stylized things, some realistic things. Um, some cover art, really neat. Oh, here's our guy. Maybe we'll look at this too and steal that. Uh, it's it's kind of like another reference. Um, so yeah, really cool concept studio. And thanks to Igor over there for letting us uh, have permission to use the concept of this elf. It's gonna be cool. All right, so let's go in and start this thing and uh, get your pencils ready. Mm -hmm.